the Inspector General uh, as per Section 245B of the Constitution is mandated to deploy officers as he deems appropriate to make sure that security in the country is uh, well taken care of. That is exactly what the Inspector General did. And uh, the rest of us in the ministry were aware. The chairman of the National Police Service, Mr. Kavuludi, was aware and in full support of that. That deployment was actually to action the presidential directive, which uh, recalled all structures of provincial administration, including provincial police officers, uh, provincial criminal investigation officers, and provincial administration uh, police commanders. So to action that, to make sure that there is no gap left, it was necessary for the inspector general to carry out the deployments. The job of appointment is not the same as deployment. The commission advertised for officers at the rank of assistant inspector general. At that level, it is possible to deploy those officers to certain functional positions. So what we haven't done as yet is to complete the process of saving through the applications with a view to coming up with the officers that will eventually interview. And however, as the minister pointed out, exigencies of security do not wait until people are interviewed for weeks on end and until they are appointed. So what has been provided for and which we are looking up to is being able in the near future to finish the process and when it is done, the job of deployment rests with the Inspector General. We'll then be able to hand over Assistant Inspector General officers whom he will be able to deploy in a manner that is appropriate with the ranking structure. So that's the position.